When can you take anti-inflammatory medications like Advil or Relieve, or when can you not take them after a broken bone, a fracture? I'm Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist. I help athletes and active people like you feel and perform your best regardless of age or injuries. Okay, there's all kinds of injuries uh, that we suffer, dislocations, sprains, strains, all sorts of things, but one of the most painful, and I know this from personal experience, is a fracture or a broken bone. I broke my ankle in college and I remember for that first hour or so I was really, really uncomfortable. And one of the medications that people take to sort of decrease their pain are over-the-counter anti-inflammatories or NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. There's Advil, there's Aleve, you know, there's different brand names, Motrin and Ibuprofen, all these different types of uh, medicines that are over the counter and you just take however many uh, that the bottle says and hopefully that decreases pain and decreases swelling. Now in this video I want to talk specifically about broken bones or fractures but you could make the case that this applies to a lot of injuries. There is some concern that orthopedic surgeons have about these types of medications Advil, Aleve, you know those type of anti-inflammatory medications. Yes, they help decrease pain, they help decrease swelling and inflammation. But the problem with that is we need that inflammatory reaction to help create new bone. That's sort of the process of fracture healing. So most of us as sports medicine orthopedic surgeons actually don't want you taking Advil, Aleve, you know, ibuprofen, naproxen, those type of medications after surgery. This does not apply to Tylenol. Tylenol is not in that same group of anti-inflammatory medications but there's concern with any type of injury or surgery that needs bone healing that you probably shouldn't take Advil or leave these anti-inflammatory medications for the first two to six weeks after the injury or after the surgery. Talk to your doctor about your specific injury and surgery because this recommendation may not apply to you. And not everybody worries about this, but I think if there's any chance that the fracture may not heal very well, the broken bone may not heal very well, taking tons of these anti-inflammatory medications could eat, slow that or make that risk even greater. So when in doubt, take Tylenol. Again, staying within the daily limits, but watch out for huge doses of anti-inflammatories. Talk to your doctor to see what the best amount of any medication is for your particular injury. If you have questions about that, leave that in the, the comments below this video. Click the video below for much more helpful information. Make sure to subscribe for tons of helpful information on health, wellness, injuries, that kind of thing. And I look forward to seeing you right here next time.